Here are free Union Pacific diesel electric trains that are currently stationary and they are the local trains in Apex, Nevada. This train on the end right here, it's an old timer. It is a long nose. They refer to it as a long nose because it's quite obvious. It looks like a nose in front and it's longer than the average one. That wheel right there on the long nose. Hold on, let me auto focus. That wheel right there is for like locking the emergency brakes. That big tank right there and then that little tank. That big tank is for diesel fuel and that little tank is for like air compression. Compression. The middle of the train right there is like where the diesel engine is or engine. I prefer to call it diesel engine because it's diesel electric. And the back right there, that's where the generator is. The engine powers the generators, generator, and then the generator powers the motors for the wheels. And then that nose on the train right there, that's actually the toilet. Right here, we have a train that's the newest out of all of these three trains, but it's not the newest train engine ever made. Well, I'll get to that later. Same thing about that train. But this train is Union Pacific 1632, 1632 SD40N. This one's 5043 SD70M. And this train right here is not the newest of all these three because this one's the newest one, and that one's maybe the oldest one because it's a long nose and they discontinued long nose because they were complaining it's too hard to see past it. So this one may be the mid-year one out of all these three. Same thing about all these train engines. Big tank, diesel fuel, small tank, air compression, metal, diesel engine that powers the generator in the back, and then the generator powers the motors for the wheels allowing them to move and then the toilet right in the front. Well, since newer ones have a smaller nose, it's quite possible that the toilet room is a bit smaller. And let me show you one more thing. Normally, it's a dead giveaway that a train is newer or older because of the windows. See, there's four windows, so it's fairly old. Four windows in the front. It's hard to tell, but you get a clear saw of one on the side. Hold on. One on the side right there. And then one right there. Same thing on the other side. And then the train engine right in the middle. I'll show you in a second. Hold on, give me a minute. One big window in the front and appears to be the same way in the front. So that's a newer train engine. And then this long nose right here, let's double check to see if it's really that old. Yep, a small window right there, then a small window right there, followed by the same thing on the other side. So normally in the front, older trains have two small windows in the middle that are like horizontally rectangular shaped, and then two on the sides in the front that are Vertic vertically rectangular shape but then newer ones like this for example has two bigger windows that are horizontally rectangular shaped 